So just to look at the dial and the hands. What, what a beautiful pair of hands, the balance of the year going minute hand balanced on the other side so it as when it comes up it isn't reducing the weight action and when it comes down it isn't increasing the action so that it's uh, balanced and uh, helps to uniform the the torque of the weight it's a wonderful pair of hands the minute hand here uh, decorated with the swirls and it got a counterbalance weight on this side so that the weight of the finger going up doesn't slow the clock because if you you probably won't even hear it ticking i can hardly hear it ticking when i might write close you'd think with the huge weights that it would go tick tock but of course if it did that it's wasting energy and it shows that it's not an efficient movement and it wouldn't run for a year whereas this very quiet tick um, with the counterbalance on the minute hand here um, shows that it is a beautiful precision train and the lovely engraved and pierced hour hand. The very interesting half hour markers, just plain Arabic minutes with Roman hours and these nice complicated half hour markers here. It's uh, a combination of elegance, simplicity, and quality. And underneath the chapter ring, just on the edge of the dial, you can see this wonderful swirling, flowing engraving, very delicate, uh, almost in contrast to the quite butch finials on each of the corners. And then you've got the polished ends to the arbors for the winding and the, these ring winding holes, which were uh, just about coming into fashion um, when this was made in 1695.